Hello everybody, Pokemon Trainer Rob here. Welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Blue. Last time, we continued through more of this route. Still not finished, but we will be finished in this video. We only have like two or three trainers left, so we should be able to finish them up here. And then we'll go back to Saffron City, take care of some business there, and then we'll try to figure out what to do from that point. Um, I still haven't got the trade Pokemon yet, like I said I would in the last video, but... Uh, I thought I would be finished with this route in that last video, so I didn't think ahead, so I'll get those next video for sure. I just wasn't prepared to uh, take an extra video to get through this route. It's lame, but not much I can do about it. So yeah, this video might be a little bit shorter than the uh, rest of the videos have been. But that's okay. You guys could use a short break, I guess. Okay. 32, still haven't learned anything. Wigglytuff? Wow, that's new. I wasn't expecting a Wigglytuff here. Oh well, I can probably take it out pretty easily. I know the ways of the Wigglytuff, because I have one in my party. And I can say right now that I picked a very bad time to evolve the Pokémon, because... It didn't even learn two of its best moves, so that's, that's a shame. Oh well, it's the trainer's fault. They'll have to deal with that mistake for the rest of their lives. Okay, she's done, and... Oh wow, really? That was like... The second last trainer we had to fight. This is the last one right here. Oh well. It's okay, I guess. Okay, junior trainer female who has a Pikachu. But I'm not going to be using you to fight it because that would be stupid. Although it could probably take it on for sure. Pikachu is very weak after all as we know from this playthrough alone. Okay, next we have... Oh, a Raichu! Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and keep Marowak out. This way I can probably get it up to level 33 right here. Because it's been at level 32 for a while. There we go. Yep. Just like I figured. And look, it's finally gonna... Oh, wait, no. Focus energy. Screw that, not gonna learn it. I don't care. Stupid move. Negates all critical hits. Not worth it. Okay, so that's it for the Pokemon on this route, or the Pokemon trainers on this route. I still have to actually catch that Pokemon we can find here, so I guess I'll do that next. I'll be right back when I find it. Okay, there we go, finally. But yes, you can find Ditto in this route. For those who don't know, Ditto has the unique ability of being able to copy any Pokemon in the game. And whenever he copies it, it'll have its moves and its, you know, type advantages. So it's currently a water type now. But I believe it still keeps the same stats that it has. So that's one thing. It's not going to have the same level and it's going to essentially have the same stats. So... That's basically what happens with Ditto. Um, let's see. I guess Surf. I don't think Surf will kill it, but you're gonna put me to sleep, aren't you? Should have known you would have tried something like that. Oh well, I'm just gonna have to wake you up then. But yeah, we're gonna go try to capture this thing. Oh come on! Don't do that. I don't approve of that. You're trying to make things annoying for me, aren't you? Oh, come on! Stop that. I don't know how much longer I can keep playing the Pokemon flute. Stop! Is that all you're gonna do? Is 
It's apparently learned my strategy, but it seems to forget that I have infinite uses of that item, so that's a really stupid thing to do. Okay, I want to see how much Surf, surf will do. Hopefully it doesn't do too much. I don't think it will, but still, I'm nervous. Okay, that's good. I can probably use one more, and then I'll be okay to capture it. Yeah, that's good. Okay, let's see if we can get it with a Great Ball. I have a feeling that this is mostly a uh, Ultra Ball Pokemon, but while I still have the Great Balls, might as well try it. Try one more, then I'll switch to Ultra. Yep, looks like I'm gonna have to use Ultra Balls. Oh well. Oh, I'll tr I was trying to figure out where they were, but they were right in front of my face. Okay, there we go. Ditto has been caught. Now, as for its name, I do have a name planned for it. I was going to be very immature and just name it this, but I decided to be a little smarter than that, a little more clever. But basically, in dedication of its uses in pretty much any generation of Pokemon outside of this one, I'm going to name it Caligula. Wait, is there an L there? Hmm. I think that's right. If it's not, I'll fix it off camera. But yeah, there we go. We got Ditto. So, now that we're done with that, we're gonna finally go back to Saffron City. A city we really haven't explored very much of since we've unlocked it. The only thing we've really done is we've gotten the TM Psychic from Mr. Psychic's house. But there's really a lot more we can do here. In fact, there's actually two Pokemon gems here. But one of them is not an official gem. It's actually more of a fighting dojo. And that's actually going to be the place we're going to tackle today. And I think we're going to use my good friend Sunnyside to actually fight these guys. I could use uh, Swim Kirby just for experience. But since we're going to be taking on fighting types, I figured I might as well just use frickin' sunny side while I have them. You'll also notice there's a lot of Team Rocket guys here too. That is because Team Rocket has actually taken over this big building right here, the uh, Silphco. But we'll be dealing with that later. Probably starting that in the next video if I decide to do that. And yeah, they'll block some of the entrances of certain buildings, so we can't even explore the city as a whole yet. And we can't even get the uh, gym badge because we have to take care of them first. So yeah, we have our work kind of cut out for us here. There's also a Pokemon Mart if you want to use that. And that's the tour, I guess. Again, not much we can do right now, but... We're going to take care of some of the stuff we can do, so we're going to go to this gym. Make sure Sunnyside's in front, and let's get started. Hoo-ha! You're trespassing in our fighting dojo. I had no idea I was trespassing. Thanks for warning me. Okay, so we have black belts. And yes, all of these trainers are going to be black belts, and they're all going to use fighting types. So, we'll see a lot of Machops, a lot of Mankeys, um, the evolutions of those Pokemon, of course, and there's a few others we'll see, too. But for the most part, I named all the ones we'd definitely be seeing. I could also use Helmarok for this and take care of this very easily, but I think he has enough experience for right now. Okay, cool. Sunnyside grew to level 34. He's 8 levels from evolving, so I'm looking forward to that. Now we have a Primate to take care of. Freaking hate Karate Chop, though. That will be kind of annoying.
And they also use X attacks on their Pokemon a lot, which is stupid because they waste a turn by doing that. That's the thing about Black Belts. They're all raw power and wanting to finish the battle very quickly when sometimes that might not actually be the right way to go. Okay, so next we have Machop. Again. There's probably going to be a Machoke in the next Pokemon, maybe. A Machoke or a Mankey. Nope, Machoke. I should have known. Machoke is very low special, though, so this should take it out. Or, no, it won't. I guess it has the same kind of special that Primeape does. Although it's also at a higher level, too, so that's another thing. Okay, Black Belt's been defeated. Let's keep going. This guy breaks boulders for training. How very powerful of him. And he only has a Primeape. A level 36 Primeape at that, so... This could be bad if I get Karate Chopped. Or Fury Swiped. Fury Swipe's another one of those multi-hit moves that... can either be annoying or very useless. They're useless whenever you use them, but whenever the opponents get a hold of them, they're like, the best moves ever. Okay, we took care of you. Black Belt's been defeated. And the last trainer we have until we get to the big man. wonder what this guy will have. Okay, he's probably going to have a Mankey, a Machop, and a Machoke. Just to be kind of like the first guy. Oh god, critical hit. I might need to switch out. And that way I can go back and restore Sunnyside's Psychics, too. So he can take out the leader pretty easily. And I'll try to get this one first. Okay, I was able to get it, but it decided to use Focus Energy, which was not a very smart move. Okay, and next we have a Primate now. I kind of expected to see more Machops and Machokes than Mankeys and Primates here, but... I guess we saw a lot of Machops and Machokes in that one route with all the bikers. So they kind of decide to mi mix it up a little bit for this gym. Alright, nice critical hit. And he actually paid him back for getting that critical hit on him earlier. Okay, so before we fight the guy, we are going to go back and heal really quickly. I'm not going to cut it out because the trip's not very long. But yeah, that'll pretty much do it for the fighting dojo, so we're about done with this video. So yeah, I think I am going to actually go inside the Sylph Co. next video. And the Sylph Co. is actually a very, very big section of the game. It's uh, a lot of trainers, a lot of floors, and it's essentially the last Team Rocket hideout, so we'll have our work cut out for us. But it's also going to be a lot of good training for all of my Pokemon, too. So that's why I decided to go for that first. But yeah, that'll be the next video. And also, one thing I forgot to mention, that long route I was on for the last few videos. Right now, that's probably the best place to train, because you can find a lot of evolved Pokemon in that grass. And a lot of them are in the uh, high 20s of, in terms of levels. So you can get a lot of good experience, and I'm probably going to farm a lot of experience in that area over the next few videos. But anyway, Grunt, I am the Karate Master. I am the leader here. You wish to challenge us? 
Expect no mercy. Fwa! Okay, so here we go. The Karate Master. He has two Pokemon. The first Pokemon is Hitmonlee. The kicking Pokemon, who has a little more focus on attack, if I remember correctly. But he shouldn't be too hard, even though he is at level 37. Yeah, Psychic, Psychic took him out in one head, so... Hooray for that. And the other Pokemon is Hitmonchan, the punching Pokemon. Or rather, the boxing Pokemon. And yeah, same thing. Um... High level, but a Psychic should easily be able to take him down. You got a very lucky Comet punch in right there, though. And unlike Hitmonlee, his focus is a little more on defense. And in fact, this will probably not take him out. Oh, it did. Okay, never mind. But yeah, there we go. Karate Master has been defeated. Wah! Arr! Beaten! And because we beat the Karate Pokemon, or the Karate Master, not Pokemon, he's actually going to give us a present of one of the two Pokemon in the back. And you can either choose Hitmonchan or Hitmonlee. And I'm actually going to choose Hitmonlee, because I have Hitmonchan in my red version, so I'll be uh, trading that over later. So yes, we want Hitmonlee. Oh, shoot. I didn't think about that. Okay, well... <laughs> I'll be right back. I'm gonna change boxes, and I'll be right back to pick that Pokemon. Okay, we're back. Yeah, um, I forgot that I was on box one, and I counted that earlier and noticed I had one Pokemon left I could put in there, and then I forgot all about catching Ditto earlier, so... Yeah, I forgot that box was full. But anyway, let's go ahead and nickname our Hitmonlee... I'm going to name it after one of my favorite characters in Tales of Symphonia. Ironically, the character who only uses his feet to fight. And I'm going to name it Regal. So, there we go. So yeah, that's going to be the end of this video. This has been Pokemon Trainer Rob. I will see you guys next time when we start to explore the Silphco and see what Team Rocket has done to this town. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys next time. Later, folks.